land to become desolate? Well, I know God has done this in the past because he said so. In Ezekiel chapter 30, we read, Thus says the Lord, who shall, uh, th those who uphold Egypt shall fall. Now, Egypt had become cruel, very idolatrous. They had mistreated God's people. And Ezekiel prophesied, The pride of her power shall come down from uh, mid, mid all to Cyrene. Those within her shall fall by the sword, says the Lord. And he continues saying, They shall be desolate in the midst of the desolate countries, and her cities shall be in the midst of cities that are laid waste. Could you find a better description of Egypt? Now, when you look in Genesis, Egypt was, was like the Garden of Eden. It fed the world in Joseph's time, but here it's desolate in the midst of countries that are desolate. Uh, God turned their water off and said that he would, and then now we see that is exactly what happened. Notice back in Genesis chapter 13, Lot lifted up his eyes, seeth a whole circuit of the Jordan that's all a, a, a watered country before Jehovah's destroying of Sodom and Gomorrah uh, as Jehovah's garden, as the land of Egypt. The land of Egypt was a watered country. Today, that's not the way it looks, is it? And similarly, notice from uh, Zach, uh, Zephaniah chapter 2, he will stretch out his hand to the north and destroy Assyria. Uh, another country that ruled the world in Bible times, make Nineveh a desolation, the site of one of the seven wonders of the world, the hanging gardens. But he says, I'm going to make Nineveh as dry as the wilderness. And he continues describing what's going to happen. Uh, the herd shall lie down in the midst, the beast of the nation, both the pelican and the bittern shall lodge in the capitals here, the symbols of desolation, interestingly referring to the pelican, their voice shall sing in the windows, desolation shall be at the threshold. Well, of course, this is the area of Iraq today, and we look to that area, and you couldn't find.